Which is better, working long hours for a week or sleeping soundly for seven days straight? Welcome everyone. In today's video, we're going to tell neuroscientist Andrew Huberman explains the secret trick for better sleep. According to neurologist Andrew Huberman 7, so here is my list for how to get better at sleeping. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Neuroscientist Andrew Huberman explains the secret trick for better sleep. So here is my list for how to get better at sleeping. 1. View sunlight by going outside within 30 to 60 minutes of waking. Do that again in the late afternoon prior to sunset. If you wake up before the sun is out and you want to be awake, turn on artificial lights and then go outside once the sun rises. On bright cloudless days, view morning and afternoon sun for 10 minutes, cloudy days, 20 minutes, very overcast days, 30 to 60 minutes. If you live someplace with very minimal light, consider an artificial daytime simulator source. Don't wear sunglasses for this practice if you safely can but contact lenses and eyeglasses are fine. No, you don't have to look directly at the sun and never look at any light so bright it is painful to view. That said, you can't wear a brimmed hat, sunglasses, and remain in the shade and expect to wake up your circadian clock. Two, wake up at the same time each day and go to sleep when you first start to feel sleepy. Pushing through the sleepy late evening feeling and going to sleep too late for you is one reason people wake at 3 a.m. and can't fall back asleep. 3. Avoid caffeine within 8 to 10 hours of bedtime. Dr. Matt Walker, sleep expert from UC Berkeley, might even say 12 to 14 hours. I do fine with caffeine at 2 p.m. and I go to sleep at approximately 10 to 11 p.m. Dr. Walker was on the Huberman Lab podcast and we discussed this in detail. 4. If you have sleep disturbances, insomnia, or anxiety about sleep, try the research-supported protocols on the Reverie app for iPhone. Do the Reverie sleep self-hypnosis three times a week at any time of day. It's only 10 to 15 minutes long and will help you rewire your nervous system to be able to relax faster. 5. Avoid viewing bright lights, especially bright overhead lights between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Here is a simple rule. Only use as much artificial lighting as is necessary for you to remain and move about safely at night. Blue blockers can help a bit at night, but still dim the lights. Viewing bright lights of all colors are a problem for your circadian system. Candlelight and moonlight are fine. 6. Limit daytime naps to less than 90 minutes or don't nap at all. I love naps as do many of my colleagues. I tend to nap for 30 minutes most afternoons maybe 45 minutes, but never longer. 7. If you wake up in the middle of the night, which, by the way, is normal to do once or so each night, but you can't fall back asleep, consider doing an NSDR protocol when you wake up. Enter NSDR into YouTube, and the top three to four options have different voices, durations for you to select from, or simply do a Yoga Nidra protocol. Enter Yoga Nidra to YouTube, one hundreds to select. 8. You might consider taking 30 to 60 minutes before bed. 145 mg magnesium threonate or 200 mg magnesium bisglycinate, 50 mg apigenin, 100-400 mg theanine, 3 to 4 nights per week. I also take 2 grams of glycine and 100 mg GBA. I would start with one supplement or none and then add one at a time as needed. Some people do not need any supplements and some people like phenine, but not magnesium, etc. So you have to determine what is best for you. Don't take theanine if you have overly intense dreams, sleepwalk, or have night terrors. Also, some people, approximately 5%, get an agitated stomach from magnesium supplementation, in which case, do not take it. I use supplements from Momentus for all of the above. You can get 20% off all Momentous supplements at livemomentous.com slash Huberman, or you can pick another source you like and trust. 9. Expect to feel really alert approximately one hour before your natural bedtime. 
This is a naturally occurring spike in wakefulness that sleep researchers have observed. Don't freak out if it happens, it will pass. 10. Keep the room you sleep in cool and dark and layer on blankets that you can remove. Your body needs to drop in temperature by 1 to 3 degrees to fall and stay asleep effectively. Body temperature increases are one reason you wake up. Thus, keep your room cool and remove blankets as needed. If it's too hot, you would have to use a cooling device, and that's harder than simply tossing off blankets if you get too warm. 11. Drinking alcohol messes up your sleep, as do most sleep medications. This was discussed on the Huberman Lab podcast episode with Dr. Matt Walker. 12. Kids, and indeed all of us, have changing sleep needs over time. Adjust accordingly. We might be night owls at 15 but become morning people as we age or need 6 hours a night in summer and 7 to 8 in winter. It will vary. That's it for now. Again, sleep is the foundation of our mental and physical health and performance in all endeavors. Yet no one is perfect about sleep. The occasional night out or missing sunlight viewing here and there is not a big deal, so don't obsess about that. However, if any of us drift from these and the other behaviors for too long, we start to suffer. So whatever your life and goals and schedule, master your sleep. You'll be so happy you did. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.